Beer Legends, welcome to another Sammy Hitsky fishing trip I'm on the road, just on my way to pick up a good mate of mine, uh, Callum Munro. Now, I haven't fished with Callum for about 10 years, but he's a good lad and he's been doing some big things in the freshwater fishing industry. So he's taking me on a little trip to Lake Awonga and we're going to catch some barra. And now the funny story is, 10 years ago when we, uh, we were fishing together, last time we actually fished was at Lake Awonga for a little competition there. Uh, it's called Mini Bucks, um, I don't know, Mini Bucks Barra Comp. Anyway, I ended up beating Callum in that comp and uh, my team, we placed second overall. I don't know what Callum came, but we beat him. Uh, he later went on to fish the AFC and all that sort of stuff, which was the uh, Australian Fishing Championship. So fair to say he's fished a bit more successfully in the competition realm than I have, but it's going to be great to catch up with him. We've been fishing out of his rocket ship. He's got a, a, a 19 foot Stratos, and we're going to go really fast. It's going to be good fun. Just on the way to pick him up now. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. It's going to be a great trip. Looking forward to it. Haven't caught a bar in ages. Should be really good fun. Welcome along for the ride, guys. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. Callum Munro, Barra Extraordinaire, and his rocket ship. We are ready to rock and roll, mate. Give us some words of wisdom before we start out. Oh, well, hopefully we don't catch too many catfish. That's that's the big one. Well, Barra fishing, going to Lake Awonga. Around a four and a half hour drive up there. So hopefully um, we get up there by this afternoon and start working some good fish. Now, I can confirm I have caught Barra. In a wonga, and I have caught catfish in a wonga. So look, I'm going to catch one of those species, and it's not caddies. <laughs> but we're going to go really fast in this thing. One fifty on the rocket ship. Oh, here we go. Secret lures. <laughs> Don't look at them. Secret, secret, secret secrets. But we're going to get underway. We got miles to cover, so in the tub and in the car, and away we go. All right, so we're about about an hour and a half out. We've been chatting fishing pretty well the whole time we'd stop for a feed and i was just talking about like the possibility of us actually catching a fish today and you know for the trip you never know and that's when callum said something that could really be detrimental to his uh his fishing career so he's guaranteed a fish not just for the whole trip but by 12 p.m. tonight. Now, if you know anything about fishing, you never guarantee anyone a fish because you always donut. Mate, it's what happening, have you, man. What have you got to say to yourself? I don't know if you're even in the shot, yeah, but man, you I'm, are now. I'm confident. Oh, it's going to happen. The, the, it's heating up. You know what I mean? It's just, Mate. It's just going to happen. I can feel it. 100%. So, you guys aren't really going to be a part of this because, um, well, you're not on Instagram right now. But, actually, free Instagram plug for me. If you're not following me on Instagram, Sammy Hitsky Fishing, check it out. But I've just put it to the people. We um, Collectively, we're going to think of a punishment so that if Carl's wrong and we don't catch something before 12 p.m. tonight, a fish over 70 centimetres, he specified, <laughs> uh, then there needs to be punishment. You can't just go saying it and not be responsible for your actions. So we're thinking up a punishment. I'll let you know when we get one, and um, well, the punishment that is, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we catch something. This could get really, really interesting. It depends how creative the people of Instagram are. But stand by, this could get good. But we're here, Gateway Barrel. Eww. What is it? Gateway Barrel Lodge? Yeah, Gateway Barrel Lodge. And we're here, just getting some kit ready. Pretty keen to get out for a cast, so we're just dumping kit, and we're pretty well just going to go run. But that's home for the next few days. It's going to be awesome. Got to unpack the car, get the beers in the fridge. That's um, probably the first step because I've got a hot carton and can't drink them like that. Not today. There she is. A lot of driving, but we are here. Lake Awonga. Or Awonga as they normally call it. Yeah. Oh, I hope there's some fish in there with our names on it. Especially for you after that horrific bet you've yeah. just put on. A bit nervous, but nah, confidence is key. It's gonna happen. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna land on the deck. It's a big dam. Big dam. Alright. We gotta get the boat in. Get out there. We're on a uh, bit of a tight schedule. There's a bite time coming up, so we gotta get on it. We're here. Oh. Big. Calhoun's getting. Look at him. He's rubbing his legs. He's, oh, he's itching. He's itching. <laughs> Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to rock and roll. Have a go at the rig. It's red, it's fast, and 
If you don't catch a fish on this first day, mate, you are going to be getting punished tomorrow. <laughs> Very big trouble. Eh? This is um, going to end up all good or all bad. We'll see how we go by the end of the night. Mate, it's going to be good. We've got some serious gear getting thrown around here. Check out that. That's just his rods. I haven't even rigged mine yet. Bit underprepared, but we've got to get out there first, <laughs> find some fish. fish yeah, While he finds the fish, I'm going to be rigging up. So it's going to per work out perfectly, I reckon. But we've got to get on the water. We're missing bite time. Well, we're in the action sea. Ready, rock and roll. You ready? Let's get into it. My how's the foot controls on this thing? Yeah, how good's that, eh? <laughs> awesome. Let's well, pump it. Do it! Do it! Woo! Centimeters. Yeah. Watch, your, watch your back foot though. It's got gear everywhere. Not a 70. It's not a 70, but, but it's still, a fish. It's a fish. That is so sick. How good is that? I haven't even I haven't even rigged up and he's already got one. <laughs> Potentially soon to be. We've got these roads happening. It. That's so good. Oh, little longer bass on the deck. Okay. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you. <laughs> you haven't even got a rod in the water yet. I haven't even it's rigged like, up. Hey, I'm sitting up. there talking smack, and he's already on the board. Oh, yes, bro. so mate because I'll, I'll probably cry if I lose it I'll watch you cry This. And the challenge is over. The challenge is done. That's 83 centimeters of barra. He did say it would happen, and look, we've done it. That's hey. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, he's done it. I haven't I haven't contributed anything to the situation, but I've been casting hard. My time will come. What a great fish. Yes, bro.
Yes! Yes, we got one! <laughs> oh my goodness! Awesome. Are you not entertained? Yes! Down the hatch. Absolutely scoffed it. Solid fish too. Yes! Oh, well misacked. <laughs> there we go, dude. Phew. It's number four. camera it's pretty hard to see but have a go at that guy you Thanks for tuning in legends. This video is going to be part one. Now we were there for four days, caught stacks of fish. So stay tuned for part two because there is heaps more to come. Now I also want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's watching these vids week after week. You guys are absolutely awesome. Really, really appreciate it. So see you on the next video guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.